Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys to smash the like button for me. If you guys came into cryptocurrency to make life changing money, I'm here to help you. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna keep you updated daily with the news that moves the markets, the important news. Bitcoin technical analysis, altcoin setups as well. Jumping right into the market. Today in crypto, Bitcoin is slowly pulling back. It really hasn't done a whole lot over the past few days. Bitcoin broke to the upside out of this ascending triangle. Uh, measured move up here is 11,200. Didn't hit the measured move, got rejected at 11,000. Now, if there's some type of pullback uh, to around 11,500 and a bounce, this would be a bullish SR flip. So again, Bitcoin just slowly ranging. There's just not a whole lot of volume, not a whole lot of movement in Bitcoin right now. It's kind of a no trade zone for me. This is, you know, essentially you got strong support right here and strong resistance overhead. Which direction is it going to go? This is a Bitcoin daily chart. The bulls need to break and hold above 11,000, which right here you're putting in, you got this doji, yesterday's daily candle close as a doji, which is, it shows indecision, right? This is a possible reversal candlestick pattern forming here on the daily chart. And again, that would put this scenario in here where it breaks to the downside. And then again, it's, will it bounce here and hold at about 10,500? If not, right here, we talked about yesterday, this is a classic short. The most probable scenario, the most probable trade for Bitcoin traders would be to short Bitcoin based on this bearish retest of this idea. Now, you know, when everybody clear as day has the same shorting opportunity, sometimes you do see a short squeeze where you get some type of crazy pump to the upside and shorts get completely wrecked. So again, just keep an eye on Bitcoin. If it pulls back down here to 11,500, just needs to bounce. If it doesn't bounce, there's more downside ahead for Bitcoin could just roll over, end up around 9,500, 9,000. So I wanna give a couple of shout outs to people in my trading group. Talk to this gentleman and his partner. They've had some new success in a business that they've started and they actually took part of the warehouse or uh, their office and created a, a crypto trading office right here. So pretty cool to see they got their whiteboard, watching some CBC, some crypto revolution, got their Bitcoin artwork, needs to be put on the wall, life-changing money get serious this is a business set up an office space set up a workspace do not trade on your phone in your bed <laughs> this person stated i love your group chris the amount of knowledge i've gained from you and your videos is priceless i've been in this space since 2017 holding i spent thousands of dollars trusting other people to make me money to no avail since i took trading in my own hands took the time to learn and followed your lead i've been making money ever since and that's what this is about life-changing money life-changing money let me teach you some basics this person i've been in crypto for four years i started with a hundred thousand i lost fifty thousand now i've made my fifty thousand back 
and I'm up another $3,000. I've paid $10,000 out over the last two years on various courses to no real avail, and then I found you. This person, I've watched your videos, and I've turned $10,000 into $21,500 in the last three months. Bottom line is this, if you're struggling learning to trade this market or you're not making the profits you wanted to when you came into cryptocurrency, I can help you. Go to my website, cryptorev.net. Attic is launching a DeFi stack with Chainlink, big names. DeFi, hot. Chainlink, hot. So they're excited to announce that Chainlink's reliable decentralized Oracle services are being made available to developers building on Matic mainnet for a range of applications from DeFi to gaming. Swipe came out and they're issuing a platform, their partnership with Binance. They launched their Binance Visa card. And so SXP Daily Burns will work and benefit Swipe, their deflationary ecosystem. So again, pretty big announcement coming out for SXP. This is a fear and greed index, kind of neutral. Which way will this go? Will people get really greedy? Are we going to pump and everybody gets greedy? Remember, counter trade. Sell green, buy red, right? Counter trade this idea. Alibaba is on track to be the largest blockchain patent holder by the end of 2020. And you can see Alibaba and then IBM beneath them. And then you've got MasterCard, Bank of America, Enchain, and Walmart. Big, big names for blockchain patents. We actually have this set up posted in the group and this news came out. A better Uniswap on Qtum too. So Qtum liquidity mining is going to happen. So again, big news. Everybody's getting to these decentralized exchanges. They are very hot right now. Travala takes flight to the east with China localization. Travala is betting big on the Chinese travel market. Blocks.io. Blocks beta goes live next week. So blocks staking beta is about to happen. This is a chart. It shows the balance of Ethereum on centralized exchanges versus Ethereum and smart contracts. And just understand like this entire market is changing completely. You can see Ethereum balances on exchanges here in the blue line, blue line, blue line, paired to, look at this. This is the Ethereum supply in smart contracts, skyrocketing, DeFi, craze taking over, Uniswap, look at this. The total number of Uniswap tokens claimed over 91 million. There were 156,900 unique claiming addresses. So again, it's actually slowing down the curve as far as people that are claiming their Uniswap. If you haven't claimed your Uniswap and you've used it in the past, you had to have used it and you get your free 400 Uniswap, which is essentially worth a decent amount of money now, $2,800. You can watch yesterday's video and I, and I talk about you know what you need to do as far as claiming your Uniswap. Now, what's interesting is, and I just found this, somebody just claimed $13 million worth of Uniswap. Everybody's like, I can't understand it. Why? Uni is not an exchange coin. It has multiple use cases like BNB. I don't understand. How could somebody claim 13 million? Next person said, but there's only, you only get 400 Uni for account, per account. Well, like how, is it, could it be an exchange? I'm not sure if any individuals could exchange maintain so many accounts and use Uniswap unless they know what's going to happen. And but you can see right here, somebody just claimed 2.1 million Uniswap. Dun, dun, dun. What's about to happen? Bitcoin miner revenue from fees versus Ethereum. Percent miner revenue from fees. So if you look at this blue line, if you're mining Ethereum right now, you're wake, making way more money than you are Bitcoin. Ethereum fees are ridiculous. Right, you can see down here, Bitcoin, Bitcoin's fees down here, Ethereum mooning. Ethereum fees are high right now. So Bitcoin's hash rate is growing a lot. It's provoking mining difficulty to increase. In one day, in eight hours, we're gonna see a new, new all-time high of mining difficulty. That means miners are mining Bitcoin strong. And this increase in difficulty is going to be 12% higher than previous. And so that's a lot. I mean, this has happened really quick. And so remember, this 12% increase means 12% profit lost for Bitcoin miners. So interesting to see how the price of Bitcoin reacts to this difficulty increase. FTM came out with some news. You can now use FTM to mint FUSD and earn re rewards. FMIN is the first component of the 
Sweet, F-Swap, and F-Lend are going to come in the next few weeks. At Phantom, pumped on this news. We've been talking about Phantom Finance, Phantom Finance, Phantom Finance. This is Bitcoin dominance. You can see it's possible that we get some type of, and this would be a bearish pattern, okay? It's possible we get some type of descending triangle and, and continuation to the downside. If this breaks higher, like these altcoins are going to get wrecked. Okay. If it breaks above this 61% level and starts moving up here to 65% Bitcoin dominance, it's going to be a rough few months potentially for the altcoins. So keep an eye on this idea. Ethereans, Ethereans are scrambling to find old MetaMasks as Uni surges. Remember, Uni, tell me the last crypto that got added to Binance, Coinbase, Huobi, and OKX in the same day. That just happened to Uni. Like this is all the hype right now. This thing, Uni is mooning, okay? That's all there is to it. It's, this is a situation where it just keeps on climbing. Like there's, this is all the hype. This is all the hype, not a whole lot has changed except people are just chasing the dream, chasing the hype. Greed kicks in and the market acts irrational. Oh no, burger swap, frying, not flying, frying high. Binance <laughs> offers up the latest dish on the DeFi menu. Burger Swap is this clone of Sushi Swap with some variations. One significant difference: Burger Swap is the first of its kind. It's going to be it's developed on the EVM compatible Binance Smart Chain, so it runs on Binance Smart Chain. Burger Swap. There's yam, shrimp, spaghetti, cream, of course, cream, of course, yam. Are you in on spaghetti? Who's holding spaghetti here, just to be honest? Like some of these names. I was telling, so my buddy at the gym, I ran into him, actually owns a gym, and, and he, he's been a Litecoin miner forever. And he's got a ton of Litecoin. And in, I was asking him about DeFi, and he had no clue. He was talking to me about the stock market. He's like, I don't even have a clue about DeFi. What is that? Like most people don't even have a clue here. He just didn't even register to him what DeFi even is. So just keep in mind this crypto bubble that we're in, other people don't see these ideas. Maybe we're early. I told them, hey, DAX is of the future. The European Union is going to introduce crypto assets, a regimen, by 2024. Well, gosh, that's only four years. They're going <laughs> to... Four years. Within four years, we're going to try to make cross-border payments quicker and cheaper through the use of blockchain and crypto assets like stable coins. All right, we'll see what happens to crypto in four years. Moon edition. Like these guys, governments are going to be so far behind. Hacked Cryptopia gets one step closer to returning funds. So they're hoping by the end of the year, they're going to see some type of payout to people that have lost money in the Cryptopia hack. U.S. Homeland Security challenges freelancers to design a digital wallet. So, and listen to this. <laughs> I love this, dude. Everything in crypto has got the coolest names. U.S. Homeland Security's moonshots division <laughs> the, dude i'm involved with the moonshots division department of homeland security the science and technology directorate s and t they're trying to crowdsource a digital wallet the idea is they got twenty five thousand dollars they're putting it up for grabs and they're saying hey whoever develops this and they've you know obviously laid out some things that they're looking for but the idea is they want to build a decentralized credentialing system for issuing digital green cards it is one of the ideas here so Big moves for the Moonshot Division. We're, we're safe, guys. Don't worry. Moonshots Division's got us. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.